Let's now further our discussion and make this graphic look even more like it's been blended together, even more pleasing to the eyes. I'm going to start with my text down here. I'm going to add by double clicking a layer style and I'm going to add an inner shadow. We've all seen inner shadows before they're used a lot, especially from Apple. So there's a whole bunch of cool little options here. You just got to play around with it, find something that reflects the style you're looking for. Okay, I like something like that for this graphic. Adds kind of like a grunginess. And if it was just white, like if I hide this, I think it just stands out a little too much. It doesn't make the graphic as dynamic. Okay, so I added just a bit of an effect on my text. Here's a cool little feature in Photoshop. If I select the text tool, and I have my text layer selected. Right here there's create wrapped text option. And this one's kind of fun because it allows me to really warp my graphic. Like I can do all sorts of different things. Like I can get totally wild. Um, in this case I think maybe a bulge. And just kind of make it inflate would be like a, it was on a balloon. So I just kind of stretch the center out a bit. I'm just going to slide that over. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to bring it up. So my background here is kind of blurry, especially if I zoom in, it's really blurry. I'm going to want to sharpen it a little bit. So I'm going to go to filter smart sharpen, which is your, pretty much your default sharpen because it allows you to, oops, I have to have the right layer selected. So I'm just going to select my background and then go sharpen smart sharpen. Oops. And this is a nice one because it offers me a preview and I can really play with my settings to sharpen a lot. So um, you can see that's a little too sharp, right? It's just really making it too crisp. So if I play with my settings a little bit, I'm going to zoom out. So that's without the sharpen. I can turn the preview on and off. So that's still a little too much. I'm going to um, bring it down just a little bit more. That's probably good. Just brings it out a little bit. And this is really good for like blurry images. It's called pixel bending. It plays with the pixels using a bit of math and uh, either accentuates the ones that would, like it, it's accentuating the white here to uh, make it look a little sharper. So that's good for me. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to apply the effect on my layer. All right, so that's that. Now let's look at another cool feature in Photoshop and it's called blending modes. So I'm going to so I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to select the gradient tool. Once it's selected up here I can click on the gradient box and it's going to open up a whole bunch of default gradients. I'm going to select this one and it's going from black to white which I want. But if I select this top square it's going to open up the opacity option and i'm just going to bring the opacity down so it's going from black to white which is what i want 
on the new layer, I'm going to select and I'm going to drag a line. I'm just going to click and drag. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a gradient for me. And if I drag a longer line, it's going to just create a longer gradient. And it's going from black to white. And at the end, my white is transparent. So it looks kind of foggy. So this is kind of what I want. So that's a little bit more what I want. But what I want to do now is there's a really cool feature in Photoshop. And it's called the blending mode. And it's right here on my layers panel. By default, it's set to normal. Check. I have the ability to select different blending modes. What that means is this layer is blending with the background layer. It's actually blending with any layer behind it. So like if I was to dr drag my silhouette behind it, it would blend with that layer. But I don't, I don't want to do that right now. I just want this layer to blend in with my background. So, but not exactly with the multiply. So I can select darken. I don't want darken either. Multiply. That's, that's what I'm looking for. And it's just kind of like adding emphasis on my silhouette a little bit more. And it's just darkening the background for, in this case, I want to show like, I'm probably, I'm going to put a logo up in the corner. And it obviously adds a little bit more um, emphasis on my silhouette. So once that's done. I just added a gradient and changed the blending option. I'm going to go to my silhouette. My silhouette's popping out just a little too much. I obviously wouldn't be this bright in relation to the rest of my background. So I'm just going to show you guys another really cool feature in Photoshop is with this layer selected, I'm going to go image adjustment. And I'm just going to start with the top brightness and contrast. We're going to look through more of these in future examples. Um, but these are very powerful. And these are called um, mostly color corrections. So photo corrections. I'm going to correct some of the colors in my graphics. And I'm going to collect correct pixels. We're not talking vector in Photoshop. We're talking about pixel pixel data. So I'm going to hit this brightness and contrast. It's going to bring up that panel. Obviously the brightness is going to bring it down. So it's going to get rid of some of the white and the contrast is the difference between my whites and my blacks. So I'm just going to look at that. I can preview. So obviously now you can see I'm a little bit blended in more with the graphic. I just I just don't stand out too much. Like that's a little too fake. Now I kind of look like I could be part of this graphic even more. I'm going to hit OK. And that effect is applied to this graphic. And I, can, I can't turn it on and off. That effect changes this. So if I wanted to do that effect and not alter my original image, I would duplicate the image first, hide it, and then I would apply the same brightness and contrast. Hit OK. So that's where my design's at. 